As a vampire, you have awoken from a 500-year nap. Humanity no longer fears you. They treat you as a myth and make a mockery of your legacy. A vampire does not fall in love with its food. A vampire does not glow in the sun. It is time humanity remembers why they feared the dark. You would think that after so long asleep, I would be weaker. Perhaps not in mind, but in body it would be natural. A pitiful thought, one conjured by humans in their own frailty. They might grow weak on their sick beds, without challenges to aim mech them grow. But I was no human. I was one of the elite, a vampire. My body did not age, so why should it wither? I tore my way from the crypt I had slept in. From the smell and look of decay, it had been many years since I last walked the cold reaches of the night. I licked my fangs, eager to find a fresh throat to tear out. Their dying mind would tell me about the way the world now was. It didn't take long to find a target. They staggered alone in the dark, unafraid of what might lurk within. I shook my head at the idiot, clearly one of the simpletons of this time. They might not have much in the way of brains, but at least they would give me a step forwards. I leapt out of the night, grasping their body and lifting them away. I expected fear, maybe a scream. Instead, I was met with the stench of partially digested food and alcoholic spirits. The fool had thrown up, before apparently passing out in my grasp, no matter. I wrenched his head around, biting into his neck and tasting the lifeblood within. I drank deeply, feeling their memories become mine. What you saw shocked me. Metal boxes on wheels that moved on their own, spewing foul gases, tubes with mocking wings that forced themselves through the sky, slates of glass and something called plastic, things that connected the world, billions instead of millions of prey. But what disgusted me more was the ignorance of what stalked the night. Vampires were rare, even when I went to sleep. But to this idiot's knowledge, we were now myth. I shuddered to myself. Myths made into vapid stories. We were monsters, not bleeding hearts. Anger rose, and I threw away the cooling corpse. It slammed into a metal pole, one that held captured lightning. The metal bent, the lightning disappearing. I had to correct their misconceptions. I had to make them fear my kind again, even if I was the last one. I crouched over the new seat of power in the country. The royals stripped of all but ceremonial power. It was now the so-called people who were in charge. I laughed to myself, not for long. I was lucky that I had awoken in winter, where the days were long and the air cold. The perfect time for me to be active. It let me watch from on high as the human work day ended. I still found myself disturbed at their cities. Such structures of glass, metal, and stone should not be so tall. But though I hated them, I had to admit they gave me a wonderful viewpoint. I watched their guards. Gone were the armors of old. Instead, they wore cloth and held tubes of metal called guns. I had no clue how they would affect me, but I suspected it would be little. My nemesis was fresh wood, not molded metal. In time, I saw a group emerge. Even from here, I could see their swagger. They thought themselves above the rest. Such arrogance could not be allowed in mortals. Only the greatest of predators could hold such confidence. I leapt down towards them, briefly growing my wings to slow my descent. But I did not lower it to a standstill, instead using one of the arrogant prey as a cushion. Their body crunched beneath me as I stood upright. I let them gaze upon me for a moment before I lashed out. Blood flew through the air as I tore them down. One I bit into, drinking deep even as I tore the others asunder. I kept them scream, letting attention be brought on me. As I finished my meal, I heard an explosion. I felt something pass through me, but no pain. I glanced down, seeing a hole in me. A guard stood with one of their guns in their grip, smoke trailing from its front. I laughed, dropping the body before me. Such weapons don't work on me. Hear me and remember your fears. The dark is mine, as are your lives to take.
With that, I jumped into the air, flapping my wings. I left the carnage behind, grinning to myself. I had no need for comfort nor money. I was a monster, and I would remind them just what monsters were meant to be.